Okay, hi everyone. I'm Jimmy MacArthur with the OpenStack Foundation. So I'm here to talk about the new and exciting and upgraded COA exam. Uh, we're very excited to have a, uh, a, an ecosystem partner join us uh, in helping to put on the, uh, the COA. Uh, so big thanks to, to Marantis um, for, it's not, there it goes, uh, for collaborating with us and uh, helping us put the exam together. So this is uh, a, a, a new exam, but it's obviously still based on OpenStack. Um, the idea for the COA is uh, to offer a, a career path for uh, OpenStack and open source professionals. Uh, the exam shouldn't have changed too much over time uh, from, from the previous version. Uh, however, uh, there's some, some new twists that I'll go over um, that, uh, and, and we're uh, excited to offer uh, the COA. So uh, this is what you're after, the Certified OpenStack Administrator uh, Certificate. And this is actually uh, the only Certified OpenStack exam, uh, and, and there are a lot of training partners that can help you get it. So I will go over a few other things. Why take the COA? It's recognized industry certification since 2016. We have been working on the, uh, some version of the exam. And uh, it's skills-based, obviously. You need to understand OpenStack. You need to understand how to work with the CLI. You need to understand how to work with Horizon and the dashboard. Um, and it helps uh, set the level of expectation for OpenStack skills in the community. So uh, it's also vendor neutral. So although we are partnering with Marantis, the exam itself is vendor neutral. Um, and we have lots of training partners out there in the ecosystem that are helping us put, uh, helping train people to take the exam. And uh, once you take it, it proves that you can administer OpenStack. Uh, what we're looking at normally is people that have uh, at least six months experience uh, working and managing with OpenStack. And, uh, and finally, we can provide some assurance that certificate holders have the skills, knowledge, and competency that you may be looking for in an employee or a coworker. What does the COA cover? Well, I'm so glad I asked. Um, it covers all of these things. Uh, so these are the projects that you would want to study up on. Uh, Keystone, Nova, Glance, Neutron, Sender, Swift, Horizon. The OpenStack client, um, for more information on this, you can go to openstack.org slash COA slash requirements to find out more about what's needed for the exam. Uh, and I'll also have some helpful links towards the end uh, that you can get some more information about what you need to do to study up. Now, what's different in this version? Couple of things. Uh, the exam is now using the Rocky release, so that's an upgrade from uh, from yeah from Pike. So a, a, a bit of a difference. Um, it's also a closed book exam. In the past, the COA we were allowed we allowed people to use uh, docs.openstack.org as they were taking the exam. That's no longer the case. So the reason for that being we want to ensure that people are well prepared for the exam, uh, and hopefully any training that you do would help prepare you for that uh, so that you don't need to actually access the docs as you're going. We encourage test takers to read instructions carefully, so we're no longer allowing cut and paste from the exam itself back into uh, the answers. And switching between CLI and Horizon, so basically you need to be able to use the dashboard uh, or command line for almost anything on the test. So be prepared for that. Um, again, if you've never taken the exam, none of these things will really make any difference to you, but if you have and you're familiar with it, these are some of the things that you would be uh, looking for. Preparation and training. So, practice. Uh, hopefully you can go through our docs and try to install OpenStack yourself, um, or perhaps you already work for a company that's uh, allowing you to start work on OpenStack. 
Um, but the, the best way you can do it is, is to try and install and, and manage your own uh, OpenStack instance. And uh, if needed, you can use a tool such as DevStack. Um, but the idea is that when you're preparing uh, for the COA, that you're prepared to use any distribution or that you're prepared to, um, to basically run OpenStack on your own or with a friend. Um, and finally, take a course with one of our training partners. So it's all these fine folks. Uh, and you can go to our website, which is openstack.org slash marketplace slash training, uh, and look for the COA logo. So any of these companies uh, should have it, uh, but you'll see courses scheduled on there um, and uh, lots of different classes and options, online courses and in-person courses. Tips and useful <laughs> tips and useful resources. So uh, these are some of the links I was talking about. Uh, where do you sign up? You go to openstack.org/coa, and you could sign up for the exam. Uh, the extended version of the COA overview can be found on this YouTube link. Um, what? Uh, and uh, finally, uh, Marantis has helpfully put up a, a blog post. Um, with tips for the new COA as well. So if you have any questions or comments, I'm happy to answer them after the talk. But that is it for me. Thanks.